Ladies and gentlemen, one and all, everybody, let us do the introductionary spinning, shall we? Hello, one and all, greetings and welcome back. Welcome back indeed to Let's Play Legend of Grimrock. I am your humble host, the Shadow Cookie, and you are currently watching episode number -o, mm -hmm, number, -o, I believe. Yes, I certainly believe that this could be number 17, Jesus Christ. Doesn't really seem like that many episodes yet, however, ever since I basically changed my video length to um, about up an hour, up an hour I'd say, things have just started to feel a lot different, haven't they? And I believe I wanted to phrase what I just said a little bit differently, however, it is now too late for that. I have made my point and now will have have to live with it and the consequences as well. Why am I making this sound oh so very dramatic? Let us continue the adventure though, shall we? Yes, of course, the adventure that shall never end. Hopefully it will never end for I am so very in love with this game, this amazing dungeon crawling experience. Now then, when we last left off with Legend of Grimrock, we were about to head into the, well, final section of floor number 5, the hallways. To be honest, we've already examined a little bit of this final section, but today we'll need to go through with it, all the way to the very end of it, to find the second and final key of this floor. The second flower ornament key that can open up the um, can open up the path that leads down to floor number six. How deep is this mountain? I have no idea, but there's of course only one way to find out. Proceeding. Time to make some epic progress. Let's see how much I can remember from last time's episode. Ah, yes, of course. First of all. Rockington, my good friend. You and your family, they seem to follow me around everywhere. I certainly appreciate, appreciate, appreciate the company. Jesus Christ already screwed up one word, and plenty of more are to follow. That is true, unique TSC playstyle. So let's see, how exactly did this work? Opening up the wooden gate, I believe. Ah, yes, of course. First of all, we will need to pull that lever, or, well, <coughs> leave if you are nitpicky when it comes to pronunciation, however, was there anything else down this corridor? Like, you know, secret buttons, the usual. Not really, not that I can see anything. Ah oh, well, let's just go through with this tiny little lever, lever, button, floor panel, wooden gate, uh, metal gate, whatever. God knows what is this, I don't even puzzle. That is of course the long story. Long story short in a nutshell though, let's just go through with this, shall we? Yoink. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You! Rocking! I believe in you! Aha! So, as far as I can remember, there is no turning back as soon as I save my game, which is not delightful at all. And why is that? Because I hate to feel trapped. It is the worst thing ever, being trapped and all, no way to escape, a terrible predicament. I hope that we will never be trapped forever. Well, isn't that our current situation? Yes, we are of course trapped within this very, very mountain. And also I remember that trapped situation with the spider chamber. Yeah, the memories. Get them away! Get them out of my brain, out of my head. However, I am of course digressing. So, welcome back to this chamber. Welcome back to the gate that is closed. A gate out of many, so its existence is not important to our adventure whatsoever. There were however some items in here, I believe. First of all, a um, tar beat into Fox's inventory, I guess, as well as Ring gauntlets, heavy armor, we already have a pair of these. Who is wearing them? Ah, uh, yes, of course, I am wearing them. That is delightful. Perhaps John could do with some ring gauntlets as well, though. Let's check his inventory. Oh my, leather gloves. John, guess what? Today you'll get promoted. Promoted indeed, good sir. If you have the heavy armor proficiency already, that is, I already forgot. Let's take a quick look at your skills. Armor. Oh, John, I am so very, very sorry, my friend, but you do not yet have the heavy armor proficiency. 
Such a shame, but do not worry, I am not going to forget about your humble self. You shall receive the ring gauntlets as soon as you level up the next time. It's a promise. Anything else in here though? Any secret buttons? Another catchphrase of this let's play. Any secret buttons anywhere? Nope, not really. Hmm. I suppose I could use this very chamber here as like an emergency safe house if things get a little too rough, you know, lots and lots of giant enemy craps. Let's hope that will never happen though. And let us also hope I did not just jinx myself. Now then, I should probably save my game, however I am feeling a little bit afraid to do so. For there's of course no return. Perhaps making yet another alternate save file could help me out a little. You know, it could be the solution to a inevitable problem. Maybe I should just be a little brave though. So, as far as I can remember, yet another bloody catchphrase, there's a tiny mini-mush, a poisonous mushroom creature from hell, right around the um, left corner. Are we prepared to deal with the threat? Yes, I'd say we are most certainly prepared to deal with it, therefore. I have a surprise for you, little fella. Ho <laughs> he will not see this coming. Get some ice! I am so very sorry, please forgive me. It is not like I am racist. It is not like I have anything against the existence of mushroom people. But if only these guys wouldn't be so very hostile. I mean, I still have to question how the hell it is possible that ginormous mushroom creatures walking on roots are able to grow and even exist within this mountain. There is like no natural source of food, right? Other than the creatures themselves, of course. But how did they get in here? How do they breed? How do they multiply? I guess it makes sense for the spiders. I guess. The spiders can lay eggs, of course, but where do they get their food from? Well, from the other creatures, of course. Those creatures are the food, but where did those creatures come from? It doesn't make any sense. Perhaps I shouldn't try to make too much sense of my current situation. After all, this place was built by a mysterious godlike creator and his servants. Who knows what these guys were capable of? And also, who knows how the hell all of these creatures got in here in the first place. Perhaps they were like, imported. <laughs> imported, what a way to say it. Yes, perhaps they were simply thrown in here to make this place sort of like a zoo. Uh, I, I have no idea what I'm saying anymore. Let's see, what do we have in here? I totally didn't pay attention. I am getting a little confused now. So this is a rather large area. Huh, well, it was called the um, abandoned tunnels, right? No, 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 the deserted tunnels. I am confusing my words already. Hmm. Oh my gosh, could it possibly be? Yes, I am going to make yet another reference. Barrels! Be gone, out of my path. Certainly a reference to a certain individual you either love or hate or, well, <laughs> simply don't care about. What is my case? Well, I guess I don't care, but I do like to make certain references. Go sue me. Now, is there anything of importance in here? Well, yes, of course, lots and lots of floor tiles that are aiming to deplete my food. Something I would not appreciate. Oh my gosh! Elizabeth, honey, I just put a mushroom in your inventory. Please don't skin me alive. Man, dodged a bullet. Hello? Is there anything over here? Anything over there in the darkness, the also oh very intimidating, scary darkness, I should add? Yeah. Mushrooms, ginormous mushrooms from hell. I am a little scared. Uh oh. That is a wall opening. <laughs> that is most certainly the sound of a wall opening. And also the sound of a giant enemy crap. I think so. Oh my gosh, I am feeling so very afraid right now. Where is it? It's a giant enemy crap. And it's incoming. Ah! There it is. Get me out of here. Please tell me that there's nothing else that just decided to spawn. Okay, I'd say this chamber right here is a perfect um, battleground to... Ah! Dispose of this ginormous... Oh gosh, no. Another one. Another fucking wall. How many creatures are going to appear? Did I just trigger the entire fucking area to get hostile? Oh, come on now. Be nice. Play nice. You can't be fucking serious. Is there more incoming? 
I don't see anything else yet. Alright, TSC, be calm and careful. Just stay in this very corner of the area. That way you might be able to avoid incoming foes. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, I can hear a mushroom! It's a ginormous fucking mushroom. Why did I decide to come in here? Uh, I'm just... Oh gosh, there's more incoming. Ah, they have trapped me. They have so fucking... Ah! No! No, no, no! I beg of you! I, it's over. It's over. <laughs> that mouth is terrifying. Oh dear, fail. But hey, can you blame me? Did you see all those fucking evil creatures that just decided to literally spawn out of fucking nowhere? <laughs> of course, I should have fucking seen it coming. Secret walls. Secret walls that open up to reveal terrifyingly evil creatures from the underworld. Go figure. So let's see, how am I going to take care of this threat? We have at least two giant enemy crabs, which is a problem, and also a ginormous poisonous mushroom with a red cap that can spawn poison clouds. Oh, just everything I always wanted to see in one and the same area. Multiple giant enemy crabs. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, rushing in there and trying to slaughter them all is not going to work out for me in the very end. I need to come up with something. So this time I am of course going to save my game. No worries ladies and gentlemen, I have learned my lesson. Door puzzle? Let's get rid of this problem. Come on. <sighs> so I, I know that I am so going to regret this, however, I am going to save my game. Oh bloody hell. Yes, I could just save somewhere else, you know, like the uh, middle save file to make life a little bit easier for me. However, I do enjoy a challenge. This area is meant to trap the player, and the player is me. I, I guess I want to accept the challenge. I want to feel trapped. Therefore, three, two, one. Game saved. <laughs> There's no turning back now. We are most definitely trapped within the deserted tunnels. <laughs> of course, fucking deserted. Yeah, right. Not gonna believe that anymore. Not a single second. Alright, TSC. Mental preparations. You know what? Why the fuck am I never using my bloody health potions? I, I, just, I just can't figure it out. I guess I... I just believe I can overcome any situation without saving, uh, or... Wait a second, why saving? <clears throat> what is going on within my very brain right now? I guess I, I just want to believe that I can overcome any kind of situation without healing myself. Of course, as I already proved countless of times, a scenario unlikely to ever happen. Now then, let's see. I could try to go back to this very area and close the door. That way I could tank the creatures. However, considering how much damage the giant enemy crabs can take, it would probably not work out. I'd be forced to heal myself, would be forced to move out of the way, then they would swarm into this tiny little chamber and I'd be screwed still. <sighs> Sigh. Alright, let's, let's think about the actual problem once it happens again. First of all though, tiny Minimush, I am so very sorry, please forgive me, but you need to die. Come on, over here friend, we are not going to hurt you, we just want to play with your humble self, play in a rather violent fashion, there we go, he's gone. Now then, <coughs> there was an item over there, on like a little pedestal. I should really pick a name for those kind of like openings in the walls, like a pedestal, an altar, uh, I have no idea. But there was something on top of it, looked like a weapon, some sort of, uh, I believe, hammer? Probably a hammer, but of course, eh, it's, it's just so very impossible to even acquire it. Just thinking about the bloody hammer is probably tickling the brains of all those creatures just waiting for me to jump out at the humble party of prisoners. I mean, can you <coughs> believe it? Like right behind this very wall, 
there could be a giant enemy crab waiting to jump out. It's a rather disturbing thought. <laughs> Perhaps I should explore this dungeon a little bit more thoroughly first before I spawn the creatures, before I trigger their very existence. What do we have behind this door? Hello? It's a giant dragon statue. <laughs> yes, most certainly. This is a, another giant dragon statue. The second one. Intriguing. So, the load, the load, the note. The note didn't tell any lies. There were indeed more dragon statues. The question now is, where do I need to rest? Do I need to rest where their gazes meet up? Or can I just rest right in front of this bloody thing? I do not yet know, but the mere thought of all the creatures still residing around me within the walls is making me not care a lot about the puzzle, the mystery, the god knows whatever. Oh dear. It is the ornament key. The second ornament key, ladies and gentlemen, we found it. Huh, but of course that alone will not solve our problem. For a second I just had the random thought to pick this thing up and leave the deserted tunnels altogether. But as I then remembered, there is no going back. The wall, or wooden gate I should say, closed. We still need to find an exit. Ugh, bloody fucking hell. Why do I get the feeling that it is unavoidable to fight all of these nasty creatures? <sighs> An adventurous life is not easy, let me tell you one at all, not easy at all. Let's see, saving the game once again, wasting food. Sometimes a party of adventurers has to waste food, it is just how things go. Anything else in here though? There's definitely lots of loot behind this gate, the question is can I open it without dying? Ooh. Did I just by chance find an exit out of the deserted tunnels? I believe so. Uh oh. That was the sound of a zombie centurion walking about. Isn't that great? Where the hell did he fucking come from? Or where did they come from? Well, I guess it doesn't matter now, for they are fucking incoming. Oh, come on, bring it, you sons of bitches! Let me show you who's the boss! Hopefully there's no giant enemy crab approaching from behind, that would just ruin my day. Burn, motherfuckers, burn! Oh yeah! One down. Two down! Come on now. Oh, are you serious? I am so walking into a dead end. Well, now I have them right where I wanted to have them. You bastards. <laughs> Cannot stand up to my might. We are the humble party of random prisoners. That makes you less important. Almost insignificant, really. And there's yet another party incoming. Isn't that delightful? Well, I don't mind the company of zombie centurions. In fact, they are a much more delightful bunch of folks to have around than the giant enemy crabs. Bring it on, one and all, ladies and gentlemen. I am in need of a level up that might help us to defeat those giant enemy crabs a little bit more easy. Or easily. I have no idea how to phrase my sentences anymore. Hello! We have been expecting your presence, gentlemen. Time to die. Do you seriously think you can destroy the humble party of prisoners? I do not think so. Bloody fools. Die. I am the master of this dungeon. I will become its very master. Eventually. Maybe. Do I want to be the master though is the question. And would the very creator allow it? Probably not. Alright, I take everything back. Thankfully he cannot hear us. Still though. It looks though that Mr. TSC, my humble self, has just gained a level. Let's be very, very strategic about leveling up from now on. I need to plan ahead a little. <coughs> let's see, four skill points, let's not waste them. 
Health plus 10. That is a delightful thing to have. Three more points in here. Health plus 10. Also, I am about to gain the endurance ability. Decreases food consumption rate. I definitely want to have that. Armor. Health plus 15. It's a little bit closer in reach than just health plus 10. I might go with this. Also, shield expert. Double evasion bonus of equipped shield. Uh oh. That is an archer incoming. I can hear you, good sir. <laughs> He's probably searching for us. Uh, yeah, guys. Um, guys, where did you go? Um, did you get them? I mean, four versus four. Technically, eight versus four. Shouldn't have been a problem, right? Am I right, guys? Hello? Anybody? Am I the only one left? Oh, come on. This is not happening. A lone survivor. Welcome to the team. Getting back on track, though. What about swords? Energy plus five. Well, so far energy was never really a problem. Never really a problem indeed for our warriors. Hmm, parry. Evasion plus five. Our warriors could certainly need a little bit more evasion. Having no evasion whatsoever is a problem. Dexterity plus two. Strength plus two. I am always so very bad at deciding. Oh, could that guy actually find us? I know you in here. You cannot escape my, my also oh very, very, very. What is the word I am looking for again? Professional nose. I can sniff you out. Right around the corner, I believe. Well, I have a little something in store for him. Come on, sir. Come on. The electricity is already fizzling through Frozen Fox's fingertips. He wants to release the power. Aha! Hey! I wasn't expecting that, you big meanie. Come on, oh, I am just a zombified archer. Could you please give me a chance? Listen, I know, I know that we were sneaking up on you. I know, I know, it wasn't really a fair thing to do, but come on, now. We all need to... Ah! It hurts! We all need to make a living. Could you please just stand still for a moment? I swear that it will only tickle. It will just tickle. If you... Oh my gosh, I'm dead. How am I still talking? That's him taken care of. Now let's get low, low, low now. Now, no, 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 now. Getting back on track once again. Where am I going to invest skill points? Hmm. As I already said, I need to plan ahead a little to perhaps maximize out one of these skill trees at least. When we have reached the end of this very game, I want to have a maximum in one of them to to prove a point. What point? I I I don't know. Why, why do I always need to know everything? Screw you, one and all. Nah, I'm just kidding. I love you all. Mwah. That's so very wrong. Hmm. Thrust. A powerful attack that pierces enemies' armor. Well, to be honest, damage is at this very moment in time one of my biggest issues. Of course, playing on the highest available difficulty <laughs> just makes my party be like pieces of butter. Enemy attacks just pierce right through them. Attacks are important though. Attack power, I should say. Therefore, therefore, good question indeed. What am I going to do? Armor is very tempting. Health plus 15. I believe I will just go with that for now. Let's invest some in here. There we go. Health plus 15. Now Mr. TSC is going to be a little bit more, well, resilient. I believe that is the correct word. More resilient to attacks. The final point can go into athletics, and once I level up again, I will be able to acquire two skills, health plus 10 as well as endurance, delightful. Now then, <coughs> what am I going to do next is the question. Saving the game, of course. So let's see, what are our current options? We could just grab the key, I presume, grab the key and make a run for it, make a run out of this freaking floor. I could also try to figure out the puzzle of the dragon statues, like where do I need to take a rest is the question. Where does the gaze of the dragons meet up? Hmm. Picking up this key will without a doubt spawn evil things to happen, without a doubt indeed. And how can I gain access to this very chamber? Hmm. I have an idea. Alright, nothing. Nothing happens upon picking up that torch. Such a shame, however, perhaps this could work? Because we've experienced situations like these in the past already. You. Aha! I knew it, one and all. I knew. 
that I had heard a second gate opening and closing in the past, and it was indeed this one. Welcome to yet another secret the hallways floor had to offer. Grimcap, that's nothing special. What is this though? A huntsman cloak? Wait a second! Didn't I once abandon a huntsman cloak? I am pretty sure I did. I... A, 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 what did I try to say there? It was within the um, third floor, the Pillars of Light. Remember that one pillar? The one pillar that had such a obvious puzzle I couldn't figure out? I decided to abandon that Huntsman Cloak and now I found a second one. Ain't that grand. Who's gonna equip it though? Evasion plus four. That is awesome. Dexterity plus one. I am wearing a simple evasion plus two cloak. What about John? He certainly needs more evasion, but uh, he already has a lot. Evasion plus fucking eight. Mm -hmm. What am I going to do about this? Perhaps I should try to focus on just maximizing the evasion of one of our warriors. So what would be the better thing to do here? Mm -hmm. If I take the... Oh, this also grants vitality plus one. I didn't pay enough attention. Who has more vitality though? I have 179, John has oh, only 127, that is certainly a lot less. I believe I am going to give him this cloak. Hmm, let's compare. Evasion 3, now he has minus 5 and he will not really get anywhere with this thing. Hmm, didn't increase his uh, energy either. Hmm. I am a little confused. Well, maybe I am not confused, but just disappointed. Alright, you know what, let's just go back to the previous setup. To be honest, perhaps Lamia Busybee could make good use of this. Ah, nah. Sorry Lamia Busybee, but I could certainly use the evasion this cloak has to offer. Therefore, let's go with this variant instead. Bingo! What else do we have within this chamber? Hmm, fire arrows. Perhaps I should... I am such a fool. I should really, really just try to use a few different items against all of these powerful enemies, such as fire arrows, frost arrows, lightning bombs, and etc. Anything else in here? Not really. Oh well. I shall take my leave though. I can promise you though, ladies and gentlemen, we will definitely reach the next floor within this very video. Oh, I promise it so very much. We only need to find a way to overcome this final, very challenging predicament, for I do wish to obtain that weapon, but the giant enemy crabs will not make it easy. Hmm, Lamia, I'd say... I'd say it is about time for you to eat something. What are you going to eat though, and why are you wearing the ring greaves? That doesn't make any sense. John, would you please take them for the time being? Thank you, good sir, thank you. Oh, by the way... Protection plus four. Protection plus six. Why the hell was I not wearing this piece of clothing? I am so very, very confused right now. Let's see. Um, do I even have the inventory space? Not really. That is always a problem. John, give me the ring greaves, please, will you? Thank you, good sir. Thank you. Now then. More protection for my humble self, and since I already have the heavy armor proficiency, I will not suffer from any penalties. Delightful. John, however, owns the light armor proficiency, therefore, which one would be better? Hmm, Jatine Greaves. Yes, once again, the Jatine Greaves are more... The lovely. The lovely? It's a combination of delightful and lovely. The lovely. I am a genius. Let's go with that combination. Hmm, was there anything else I just wanted to do? I believe so. What was it, though? Did I pick up anything of interest? Ah, yes, of course, lay me a busy bee. Would you please, uh, take a bite out of this lovely pit with bread? <sighs> oh, Lamia, I didn't ask you to eat the entire fucking thing. Did you just smash that piece of bread into your face? Hum, nom, 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 nom. Well, I guess I cannot complain too much about that. After all, you were quite hungry. Or were you? I guess you were. Oh well. Let us try to figure out the mystery behind the dragon statues, ladies and gentlemen, shall we? Before we decide to pick up this key and make a run for the exit. Now then. I could just rest in front of this very statue, but I'd like to test out my other theory first. So let's see. The dragon statue is right here in this row. One second. How am I going to do this? 
One, two. All right. Um, it was over here, I believe. Are there any other hostiles that have appeared? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, we had one, two, three, four, five for now. So now I just need to find the other dragon statue. Where exactly was it at? Let's see. Um, one, two, three, four, five. This very row should be where the dragon statue over there is gazing towards. Mm -hmm. So where is the other dragon statue? Let's see. I need to I need to mark this place somehow. Let's put down Rockington for a second. Rockington, this very row. Keep it in mind. Thank you, sir. Now then, the other dragon statue is nearby. I know it. Come on. Over here. Aha. Uh -huh. There it is. So it is right here. This row. Let's see. Keep it in mind. One, two. Three. One, two, three. And Rockington is... Rockington? There he is. So, right here, this very tile is where the gaze of the dragon statues meets up. Huh. So the only thing we need to do now is take a rest and hope that the iron door will open up. <laughs> I'd be so very amazed if that actually works out. Of course, there's, like always, only one way to find out. When did I save my game, though? Like, I want to reload. Let's see. Hum dee dee dum dum. Back here. So I believe I saved right after I decided to go through with my plan. That is awesome. Therefore. Let us go for it, let us test out a theory, one and all, ladies and gentlemen, I have the location of the um, meeting, the meeting of the gaze in mind, it was right here. Alright, one and all, ladies and gentlemen, let us take another snooze. I wonder if this will result in yet another vision of the creator, probably, could be, let's test it out. Alright, I'd say that's enough rest. Wake up, one and all. Uh-oh. Oh dear. That is a random creature that decided to spawn. A random creature I do not wish to mess with. Sorry. Not today. Are you serious? <laughs> it actually worked out. The iron doors were right here. And now they are just gone. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, an applause for me, please. I was able to solve a very, an very, no, not an very, an hero, a rather interesting puzzle. Go me. And our reward is going to be... Good question. How does this work, though? Like the dragon statues, they didn't even see me. There were thick walls between me and them. How did they know that I went to sleep? How does it work? What magic is was magic is my mind is so very confused right now what magic allows this place to be so very magical don't search for the answers do you see you will never find them and you know that so in here we have our reward which is <coughs> a lurker west oh my that sounds very very hideous what bonuses is this thing going to grant us? Lurker's Vest Evasion plus 5. A vest made from a material that seems to blend into surrounding shadows. Hello there, fellas. Oh, were you not fast enough to reach me? I so do not feel sorry for your little existence. Totally insignificant. Now then, let's see. I guess I could take these guys out for rather easy um, experience points, though. First of all though, lay me a busy bee, I have found something very, very delightful for you, something very delightful indeed, however. The thing is, should I give it to her? Because she is already fucking swimming in evasion, and I, I as well as John, needed much, much more. Let's see, he has a protection of 28, I have a protection of fucking 32. 
I think I am going to go with the evasion for now. Thank you very much. Therefore, please, I, I, oh, I apologize so very much, Lamia. But you already have such a delightful bunch of items, such as the fancy flare feather cap. I need to have something delightful as well every now and then. Here we go. Are those only two archers I'm hearing, or could there be more undead centurions walking about? Who knows? There we go. Minus two protection, but it doesn't matter for having plus fucking, how much was it? Plus fucking five evasion is a nice exchange. Also, why am I suddenly swearing so very much? I have no idea. By the way, that reminds me, somebody in the comment section of a random video, I believe it was within one of my Cry of Fear episodes recently, decided to leave a rather lovely manage. Manage? I mean, message. Message indeed, complaining about me cursing too much. Well, good sir, if you are listening to this video or just speaking about it in general, there's nothing wrong with cursing. As long as you don't do it in a rather immature way, such as a Call of Duty fanboy. Yes, I know, I know, I am not going to insult Call of Duty anymore. But why wouldn't I insult Call of Duty? I have the right to, goddammit! No, in all seriousness though, cursing is just a part of certain games. I mean, if you are playing a horror fucking game, said it again, you cannot stay calm and you need to curse. It makes it atmospheric. If I would encounter a bloody fucking creature with um, blades as hands and arms in real life, I'd fucking scream. And I'd curse as well. Jesus fuck, what the hell is that thing supposed to be? Getting back on track though, we are not yet done with this very floor. Oh, of course we are not. There is still one more challenge waiting for us. Ugh, sigh. A challenge I do not wish to face. But do I have a choice in this matter? No, of course not. What's gonna happen upon picking up this key? I do not know, but the much more important question is, can I try to grab that one item over there without spawning too many creatures? Perhaps. Who has the... Ah, John has a free inventory slot. Alright, let's make a run for the goodies and then just run away into the opposite direction again. Yee! Oh my gosh, 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 enemies incoming. Where is it, where is it? Yank! Don't mind me! Don't mind me! I'm just going to leave again. Oh, what the fuck. Jesus bloody hell. Um, how do I close this? Can I close it? No, I can't close it. Fucking hell. I need to close this up somehow. It's incoming. Um, um, you can't close this, right? Oh, that's a problem. However, I know have like the perfect scenario to take all of these creatures on. Oh, I can see the shadow. It is coming for me. Bring it on, giant enemy crap. <laughs> you can only choose from one corridor. I can basically tank all of these creatures right here. Hmm. Should I save my game though? Should I save that I released all of these terrifyingly evil creatures? Maybe not. I should really try out one of Lamia, Busy Bee's, uh, you know, lightning bombs or something. It could help us out. Eat that, giant enemy crap. You will be destroyed, you and your brethren. I am simply gonna try to fight this thing in here, and hopefully none of the other giant enemy crabs will show up before it is destroyed. Eat this bastard. Don't you worry, I still have plenty of escape routes available to me. Yes, we are just tearing it apart. It is so very delightful. Ah, eat that. I know your weakness, and that weakness is to just hack away at it until it succumbs. There we go, John Bernard! My friend, congratulations, you just gained a level, my humble friend. And because I do not wish to be interrupted while leveling up, let's close that gate for the time being. Now then, once again, strategical, uh, strategical, what is the word I am looking for? Strategical spending of skill points is required to make this worthwhile. Hmm. Armor, heavy armor proficiency. That is something I wanted to have for some time already, something I wanted to give John. I promised it to him, therefore, let's go for it. Two points in here. Congratulations, Zon. Zon, what the fuck? John, now you have the um, heavy armor proficiency, which takes away the 
um, penalties you suffered from the Iron Bassinet. Congratulations, you actually have evasion for the first time in the history of ever. I like it a lot. Also, that one mushroom is incoming. He somehow found his way here. Isn't that delightful? <sighs> Two more skill points remain though, but which skill is going to get them? Two more in athletics, plus two dexterity, perhaps. I could also go for the plus 15 health in his case. What about axes, though? Huh, I want to have the chop ability. So many decisions one has to make as an adventurer, and I can never fucking decide. Let's see. <laughs> One into athletics. Dexterity plus two. That is amazing. Now John has even more evasion. And the last point can go into axes. Why the hell not? There we go. Hopefully we'll be a great fighter, and hopefully we'll have a long and healthy life. <sighs> Unlike my beautiful, hardcore Diablo 3 monk, he made it all the way to level 50, made it all the way to Act 3 on Nightmare Difficulty, and guess what happened? My fucking connection broke down for just a split second, and that killed me. Do not fucking play Diablo 3 when you have a rather, rather, what's the word I'm looking for? When you have a rather um, fragile internet connection, such as not the case in my humble life. However, my connection does like to go off at random times during 3 and 4 o'clock in the morning. And it of course happened right in the middle of combat, resulted in my precious, precious monk dying. Why am I talking about all of this? Well, when the hell am I ever gonna talk about it again, if not now? So please have a short moment of silence for the precious, precious wasted life of my monk. And also, Blizzard? Blizzard for making the bloody DRAM or whatever the hell it's called, always being online, being forced to always be fucking online, single player and everything. Fuck you! But all of that said and out of the way, I believe our mushroom friend here wants a little bit of attention, therefore let's not make him wait any longer. By the way, what exactly is that tool we picked up some time ago? Ooh, a Warhammer. Required skill, Mace is free though. Hmm, John? Perhaps I am going to invest a few points into Maces very soon. Is this thing better than your Battle Axe? Ooh, not really. I guess it was a little bit pointless to take this thing with us then again. I am a weapons collector. Alright, alright, I get it, good sir, I get it. Let's get rid of it now. Come on, I'm right over here. There you go, chump. It's not gonna take long, I promise. There we go. Just a few more slashes. And he has been disposed of. Now, what about that second giant enemy crap? I know that it is still somewhere down here. Also, do we still have enough food for another meal? Plenty of grim caps, also baked maggots, pit root bread, herder caps. Somebody should also still have a burrow rat shank, I believe. Foxy also has some food, burrow rat shank here. Yes, we are good to go. Now then, the only thing we really have to do still is to pick up that key. Where is that final giant enemy crab door? Where did it end up? Hello, sir. This is feeling a little bit scary. Like a horror game, really. We have been thrown into a dungeon, but we are not alone in here. There is something else. I can also hear yet another mushroom. I guess I prefer those guys over the giant enemy crabs, though. Good sir, where are you? Aha, uh -huh. and oh gosh, it's the big red one. Let's take care of you, real quick. Without mercy, swift and deadly. <laughs> Die, bastard! <laughs> <coughs> Could you please cut it out? It's a dick move to do such a thing. I swear, ah, no, 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 oh my gosh, he just trapped me. How could I have been so foolish? He's gonna poison us to death. Party, take it out, quickly. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is not good. Kill it. Is it dead? Oh my gosh, it's fucking dead. However, its death came at a price. Two of our party members have just bitten the dust. Ain't that fucking grand. Thankfully, there's a crystal of resurrection and healing nearby. Walking towards it will consume some food, of course. Also, oh no. There were some archers in here, right? 
now I am paying the price. I am going to pay the price for my greed. Resting, summoning more enemies, <sighs> walking into a bloody dead end. Where are you, fellas? Listen, I don't want any bloody trouble. I just want to have my crystal. That is all. And here we go. Bye. Don't mind me. Don't pay any attention to my humble existence. Well, that was surprisingly easy. Huh. And also, there's a horror cap here. How did it get here? How did we not see it? I am so very confused right now. Hmm. Perhaps I am soon going to make some use of this wooden box here, for our inventories are getting cramped a little again. Now then, food is still pretty much looking good. Where is that second giant enemy crab? I really want to dispose of it, for it is worth 420 experience points or something. Hello? Giant enemy crab, I know you're out here somewhere. I know you will eventually decide to hunt me down, bloody thing. Guess what, I think I am going to eat something? No, not really. Let's throw this thing imaging here, the grim cap, into the uh, wooden box. It is really a good thing to take containers with you, I have to say. Hello? Yeah. Aha! Wait a second. Did I another wall just open up? I believe I hear the sound like that. Hello? This is mysterious. It's just like with the one... Uh, ah, there we go. There it is. It was in the middle of that fucking chamber the entire bloody time. Hello there, giant enemy crap. I've been expecting your presence. Hopefully there's nothing else to jump out of me. Because I wouldn't appreciate that. Let's take care of this bugger, shall we? Once and for all, you will be destroyed, giant enemy crab, just like- Oh no. There's more stuff incoming, isn't there? I knew it. I was a fool. I was a fool to believe that it would be just simple. Um, Rockington, I have a mission for you. Ah! Two points of damage. Brilliant. There's something else incoming, I just know it. Not a fucking crab or something. I'm sure. Critical hit. And soon it will be gone forever. Die, giant enemy crap. Anything? Oh gosh, I knew it. Yeah. <sighs> Bloody fucking hell. We are dead. Die, giant enemy crap. Please. It's not gonna die. We are going to die instead. Marvelous. Alright, TSC, you've learned your fucking lesson. Don't be so bloody foolish. It is never going to be simple. Why would they make it simple for you? Those guys, those game developers are fucking monsters. They just want to see you suffer. Oh gosh, it's dark. It's too dark, to be honest. There we go. Come on, buddy. I know you want to. Fresh meat over here. Fresh meat in the form of four lovely prisoners. You want to consume us, don't you? You want to take a bite out of us? Well, guess what? Ain't happening. Not today. And I just abandoned my only means of escaping. Hurry up, TSC. Hurry up before the gigantic mushroom decides to spawn. Over here. You. And in here. Beautiful. Now the giant mushroom cannot sneak up on us, which is very delightful indeed. Frozen Foxy gained a level, so finally we've gone through the cycle, I believe. Well, maybe not really. No, or oh, wait a second. Ah, oh, no, we have not yet gone through the cycle. Lamia Busy Bee still needs to level up. Don't you worry, Lamia. We'll get to that eventually. What confuses me, though, is how exactly are all the creatures within this place triggered? Like the giant red mushroom has not yet decided to spawn. Hello? Good sir? I know that you're out there somewhere in here. He's gonna spawn eventually. So, this is where one of the crabs came from. Another firebomb. I promise one and all, ladies and gentlemen, I promise I will use them eventually. Where's that mushroom at? Hello? Aha! There he is. 
Bring it, good sir. Oh, yes, indeed, bring it. We are ready for you. Wait a second, that's a tiny mini mushroom. And where's the big one? Incoming from somewhere else, I believe. Sure, why the hell not? Is it behind me? Why wouldn't it be behind me? I swear to god, it's fucking behind me. Oh no, guess what? It's not. There it is. Alright, good sir, let's do this. You are the final enemy of this floor, I believe, and after that we can finally call it a day. Oh no, I was being foolish once again, there's another giant mushroom incoming. Cause why the hell not? Why the hell not have tons and tons and bloody fucking tons of enemy creatures down here? It's good for leveling up. Leveling? Leveling up, of course. Still though, I'd appreciate some privacy around here. Also, do not get trapped, you see. Do not get trapped again. That is never a good thing. Die, you bastard. Where's the other mushroom? Somewhere behind me. There we go. Another herder cap that can go into the wooden box. In fact, I believe I am going to make that wooden box our mushroom slash alchemy storage. Good god, how many fucking mushrooms are there? Like, we'll soon eat the food again. Eat again, I mean, if this keeps up. Ah! I am really not paying attention to dodging at all now, and I am forgetting that these things can attack from far away. Ah! You son of a bitch. At least they die rather easily and fast. Come on, sir. I know that there's another one. Please tell me that you're the final mushroom. I've had it with you fucking guys, creeping behind every corner. Come on, you know you want to. Come on, be brave. Show that you're kind of still worth something. Or... I guess not. Never mind. Are we fucking done now? Please, oh please, another firebomb. Tell me that we are done. Have we conquered floor number five, the hallways at long, long last? Please tell me that is the case. So this is where the mushrooms came from. Wait a second. What is this? Milk reed? Hmm. I don't think we've ever stumbled upon this type of plant before. Very intriguing. Probably some kind of ingredient once again. Let's have a look. <coughs> Milkreed. Milkreed is a very delicate plant and very hard to grow. It is used for treating diarrhea and other digestion symptoms. <laughs> well, considering all the crap we've been eating up to this very point, I guess that might actually be a rather positive discovery. Still though, random. Random indeed. So where the hell am I? Ah, this is the very beginning of the deserted tunnels. Can we leave now? Can we please fucking leave? I've had it with this place. I really, really had it with it. We've discovered everything there was to see. Every single lovely item. Oh, shuriken. I don't think I'm going to pick up that one shuriken I abandoned long ago. It's just not worth it. I am just going to take my key now and leave. Going to take my key and leave. It's going to be as simple as that. Ugh, please tell me. It's going to be as simple as that. Oh, please fucking tell me. Here we go, the second ornament key. Yeah. No wall opening out of nowhere? No evil creatures from hell trying to tear me apart? No nothing? Really? Are you serious? I'm gonna trust the piece for now. Careful. Hello? Nobody in here. Those noises are just being created by the two archers. And you know what? I think I am- oh, that's not an archer. Hello there, good sir. Where did you come from? I guess I can kill you, cause you know, why the hell not? Well, that wasn't too difficult. Free experience points, I like them, I like them a lot. Now then, the time of truth, the moment of glory and victory has come, one and all, the time period of success, and I, I've run out of stuff to say. Let us use the second and final flower ornament key to open up the path that leads down into floor number six. Here we are. We've made it at long, long last. We have reached the end of floor number 5, the hallways, and what can I say is like a conclusion or something? 
It was a rather challenging floor, maybe not as bothersome as some of the early floors this game had to offer, but definitely challenging, thanks to the giant enemy crabs. However, I'd say we'd made some rather delightful discoveries, made some rather delightful loot discoveries, I should say, found lovely, lovely armor pieces and uh, all kinds of other stuff indeed. No treasure, though. Remember those? Yeah, we've already found a golden deity figure and a golden chalice, but nothing else this far. I hope we didn't miss anything. And good god, look at all of my bombs. So many of them. By the way, before I forget it, this is going to be the uh, final final event of today's episode. Asserting or assigning, assigning skill points to Frozen Foxy. Let's see. Oh, it's always a thing with him. I'd like to have more powerful spells. I'd like to focus on just one school of magic in general, but that's gonna, of course, um, make other schools less useful. Mm -hmm. Spellcraft, energy plus 10. Sounds tempting. Ice magic, he needs about, uh, about 6 more points in here to gain the next spell. Fire magic, mm, 5 more to gain the next spell. Earth magic, also 5. Air magic, also 5. So I just need to pick my poison here, I guess. Let's see, which spells do we have? Which could we learn? Here we have... Um, Alright, fire shields are not an option at this very moment in time. I'd like to have this spell, though. The frost bolt. Air mm -hmm. magic sounds tempting as well, though. We could eventually gain ourselves the uh, invisibility spell. Wherever I decided to put it. Ah, oh, there we go. Air magic 19. Damn. Invisibility. It sounds so very tempting, but you can't have everything in life. Ah, alright, alright, alright. Ice magic, I think we are just going to focus our stuff on this for now. Willpower plus one. What exactly does willpower do again? Willpower is the force of the mind and the ability to blah 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 blah. It affects the amount of energy points gra uh, gained at first and subsequent levels. Uh huh. Hmm. I still can't decide. Seriously, I can never decide. Hmm. How much energy does Foxy have anyway? Energy 138. I'd say Spellcraft doesn't really matter at this very moment in time. Hmm. Let's see. Which school of magic should it be? Which school of magic indeed? I have just no idea whatsoever. I want to gain at least two spells for each school. But it's not gonna be easy. Not at all. <sighs> alright, alright. Let's put some stuff into ice magic. Two points for now, I'd say. Yeah, two points for now. And what about the other schools? Oh, bloody hell. Why is this so difficult? Why is this consuming so much time? Alright, Mr. TSC, it is time to make a bloody decision. The audience is waiting. Oh, the audience is waiting indeed. By the way... Oh no, never mind. I, I had a random thought for a second, but it does not matter. Let's just throw these points into ice magic. Like this, we will be able to gain a new spell once we level up again. So, as I already said one and all, ladies and gentlemen, it seems that we have finally at long last reached the end of floor number 5, the hallways. Learned quite a few interesting things. Apparently, this place was built by the so-called creator. Also, if you can hear a sound in the background, please don't mind it. It's just some kind of loud car driving by outside in the distance. Don't pay attention to it. What? Cars? Cars in Legend of Grimrock? Oh no, it's my immersion! It's shattered! Bloody hell! We've learned that the so-called creator and his servants made this dungeon. However, eventually they were um, sealed away. Sealed away by somebody, perhaps the humans, for crimes we have not yet learned anything about. And these humans also um, threw a gigantic maze onto the uh, very place of the creator. A um, dungeon full of traps and monsters to prevent anybody from, I assume, reaching the creator. But the creator himself, or itself, perhaps herself, is wondering why they are not just killing us. For they apparently have plenty of opportunities to just do so. Very mysterious indeed. Perhaps more answers and also more notes of Tornen, the lone survivor, will await us downstairs. <sighs> Alright. 
What could be worse than giant enemy crabs? What could be worse than so many puzzles? How much more difficult and challenging is this game going to get? Only one way to find out. And with that said, we have reached one hour of video length once again, ladies and gentlemen. Let us take a very, very quick look at the next floor, shall we? Here we go. <sighs> For great justice. Oh my gosh. Um... Hello? So, I believe the lightning has once again changed a little. It is a little bit more bluish down here, don't you think? Oh dear though, this is not a good sign. A floor panel right off the bat, right off the very get-go. Also, who exactly is making these loud footsteps? He, she, or it seems to be very, very close by now. Too close by for comfort. I believe I am going to save my game now, simply because I want to know what exactly this new floor, floor number 6 of Mount Grimrock is called. There we go. Bam. Game saved. Where the fuck are we? Level 6. Trapped. Wait a second. That is not like a name you can assign to a place. Trapped. Why is this floor called Trapped? We are not trapped... yet. Oh dear. I am suddenly... suddenly having a terrible thought within my mind. A terrible idea. A terrible, terrible idea of a... equally terrible scheme that is about to unfold itself right in front of us, or should I say, behind ourselves. What will happen if I step onto this very floor panel? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Duh. This, this, this is a little bit too extreme for my weak and fragile mind to handle. Oh, the spiders are back. Hello there, little fellas. Three of them, all around me. All a fucking around me, not giving me a single chance to escape. Not just that, though, I think I caught a glimpse of a metal gate that decided to close behind us. Is that why this very floor is called Trapped? Will we not be able to get out of here once we step through that um, gateway? Once we step onto the floor panel? Oh, beautiful. Just fucking beautiful. Guess what, though, ladies and gentlemen? All of these ginormous bloody spiders are for next time's episode. Therefore, let me just end it here. <coughs> One and all, ladies and gentlemen. As always, my goodbye speech. My humble name is The Shadow Cookie, and you have been watching Let's Play Legend of Grimrock episode number 17. And when we'll come back, we are of course going to examine this new floor, and we are also going to try and survive this fucking ambush. So many spiders. At least they shouldn't be all that difficult anymore, I believe, or I mean, yes, I mean, I believe. It's been quite some time ever since we encountered them, and we have grown more powerful, therefore we should be able to kill them rather easily, hopefully. <sighs> With all that said and done, though, all of that said and added away, as I already said, because I like to repeat myself, my name is The Shadow Cookie, and I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a comment, like it, it helps the channel grow, favorite it if, if at all possible, tell your friends about my existence, and I guess I shall see you all next time. Also, in case you are wondering when the... Uh, the Binding of Isaac Let's Play is going to continue, because the last episode I uploaded pretty much had a lovely cliffhanger at the very end. Don't you worry, it's coming. It's already recorded, just not yet edited, because I am planning a rather lovely, lovely intro for it. A very special intro indeed that requires quite a lot of effort to make. To be made, to make, I have no idea how to say it, but I am not going to steal any more of your time. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and I shall see you all next time. Also, you bloody fucking things go to hell! Ah!